you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, EA just leaked the top base elite players in Madden 20 from the AFC North and the NFC North, which does include the AFC North is the Bengals, the Browns, the Ravens, and the Steelers. And the NFC North should be the Packers, the Vikings, the Lions, and the Bears. So we have a lot of base leads to go over here. I screenshotted all of them, guys. There's about, give or take, 16 to 20 screenshots here. So that's pretty good. Final video before tonight's 6 o'clock stream. Super hype for today's stream. It will be unveiling all of Madden Ultimate Team news for the year of 21. So let's get into this with the first screenshot, which is right here. Geno Atkins comes in as one of the first players for the um, Bengals. He got 69 speed, 75 excel, 81, I believe, block shed, 78 tackle, 83 play rack. 80 finesse move, 82. Say he's decent. He's going to be decent stopping the run, decent stopping, uh, decent at pass rushing, decent at clogging the hole. Nothing too special, but again, it's base defensive tackle. There'll probably be better ones, uh, you know, to start the year. Next, we've got AJ Green. Now, AJ Green, wide receiver for the Bengals. Surprised to see him still have an elite. I feel like after all the injuries and the holdout, everything that kind of went on, I thought that would have dropped him down at least to an 80, but an 82 elite's pretty decent. 83 speed, not too bad. 88, uh, what's that? 88 jump. We got 80 catching, 81 catching traffic, 82 spec catch, 78 short running, 76 medium route running, and 74 deep route running. Probably won't be using AJ Green to start the year. Gonna have way too bad of route running for me. And he's not that fast either, which is like you kind of can give up route running for a speed guy. Not gonna be great. Next, we do have Joe Mixon. He's got 83 speed, 85 excel, 84 agility, 82 carry, 61 catching, 82 change of direction, 78 tr 79 truck, and 80 break tackle. Will not be using Joe Mixon either, guys. Uh, McCaffrey already has a plus two speed on that, so I imagine McCaffrey is up there. There's going to be a guy even faster than McCaffrey. A guy like Burita or uh, Tariq Cohen might already have like an 87 to start the year, so Mixon going to be kind of irrelevant in my opinion. Got Nick Chubb for the Browns. 85 speed. There you go. So Nick Chubb's looking better already. Plus 84 Excel, 76 cow. 76. Ooh. I, I can't read that stat. 87 carry, 57 catching, 76 change of direction. 82 truck and 89 break tackle. Guys, Nick Chubb powered up. Might be a bit of a monster to start the year. 86p with a 90 break tackle. Could be really good. Next, we got Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett is a end. He's got 77 speed, 82 excel, 87 strength, 75 tackle, 83 play rec, 92 block shed, 86 power move, 78 finesse move. Miles Garrett's going to be really, really good to start the year. Coming in at 85 overall. Decent price. Shouldn't be too hard to acquire for the most part. Next, we got Odell Beckham Jr. 86 speed. That's huge. As per usual, guys, 84 Odell Beckham Jr. going to be one of the budget beast wide receivers in the beginning of the year. And I shouldn't say budget beast. Overall. Overall budget. Like, you don't got to go for the Michael Thomas and the Julio and the Hopkins. Odell and Tyreek every year. Lower overalls always do the job. 87. Uh, let's see. 87 jumping. 77 catching. 79 catch in traffic. 88 spec catch is big, especially if the uh, aggressive catch works really well in the beginning of the year. 82 short route running. 80 medium route. And 78 deep route. Now, if you power them up and chem them up, guys, you could probably get that spec to a 90. Plus 87 speed, going to be one of the best wide receivers. Moving on to Lamar Jackson, guys. You guys are probably super excited to see this because he's the pre-order guy. He's an improviser too, which is good, which means he does get escape artist. If I believe he only needs to have a, it was a speed, right? So he should be able to get escape artist to start the year if they don't mess with uh, caps this year or overalls. Unless they do overalls for escape artists, which kind of suck. 88 speed, 85 throw power, 84 short accuracy, 76 medium accuracy, 78 deep accuracy. 84 throw under pressure, 86 throw on the run, 80 play action. Guys, that's awesome. That's all you need in the QB day one. Good enough throw power to start the year. Good enough accuracy. Power him up, chem him up. Going to be super fast. Going to be super glitchy, guys. Hey, you know what 88 speed is the first week? That's like that's like Marcus Allen, except you're getting out of the quarterback spot. If quarterback scrambling is as, like it was last year, you more or less are going to destroy people with Lamar, especially if you can get escape artists. Without it, if you can't get escape artists, it's going to be a little bit of an issue, which would kind of make sense for them not to give it because everyone's going to have it, but I really hope they don't go that route. Next, we got Sam Koch, the punter for the Ravens. All I really care about here is 81 kick power, 86 kick accuracy. Nothing too special there. How many screenshots we got? Oh, we still got a lot. Justin Tucker, uh, 83 kick power, 85 kick accuracy. Pretty solid there. Next, we got Chris Boswell, 82 kick power, 81 kick accuracy. As per usual, this Justin Tucker, 86 overall, should be the best kicker in the game. Standard rate. David DeCastro, usually one of the best right guards, although Zach Martin will be better. He's got like, he's got, like all mid-80s mid 80s uh pass blocking and run blocking with pass blocking being a little bit lower i believe than no it's it's pretty similar it's pretty similar in terms of run blocking versus pass blocking he might be a bit better of a run blocker but again zach martin's always the better one but the castro should be a pretty decent uh budget guy 
Cameron Hayward, uh, really, really slow. Good play record, block shot, good power move. The only issue is going to be he's too slow. Uh, you typically need some speed on that edge, and that's typically the issue with him. Look at RG Madden right there. Next, we got Eddie Jackson, free safety for the Chicago Bears. Two speed, 84 XL, 66 tackle, 82 play rec, 79 pursuit, 76 man, 85 zone. I do like that he's faster this year. Last year, they did give him a 79 speed, and that was too slow. 82 speed with a good zone, guys. You can power him up and potentially get locked down max out. You can get him pretty high up there, 89 overall zone. You can even get John Madden pretty early on. He could pretty, he'll probably get the uh, the zone threshold. Kind of like an Earl Thomas. It's going to be a bit faster, hopefully. Next, we got Khalil Mack. This is a big one. 87. I figured he was that overall. 79 speed is good. 81 excel is good. 80 strength is good. 86 tackle is great. 87 play rec is huge. 86 block shed. 87 power move and 81 finesse. So, again, power him up, chem him up. You should be able to get to the 90 finesse move. Or power move, sorry. Going to be a great pass uh, pass rusher. Going to be almost one of the greatest run stoppers. Great play rec while having good enough athleticism off the edge. Really like that Khalil Mack card. Then we got Allen Robinson. 82 speed, 86 jump, 82 catch, 81 catch traffic. Really bad route running. Probably won't be using him either. Has an AJ Green type feel to him. Next we got Jamie Collins. Ooh, way too slow. 76 speed with no pass rushing ability. Can't stop the run. He's pretty much useless. Usually good in the pass, like uh, coverage wise, but not with that speed. We'd rather go other options with him. Kenny Galladay, 83 speed, mid 80s catching, and then low, low route running again. AJ Green type feel, 82 overall. Will not be using him on my squad week one. Matt Prater, 83 kick power. If you want a budget version of Tucker, there it is. Worst kick accuracy, but it's a trade off. Devontae Adams got an 83 speed. That's good because typically he's really slow, but again, based on what I'm seeing, it looks like 83 speed is slow for wide receivers. Great route running, though, great catching. Guy's going to be a great, great receiver overall. I wouldn't use him as maybe your one, like as your, you know, your speedy, deep kind of guy. I'd use him as like a nice route runner, slants, ins, outs. Going to be great in that kind of scheme. I wouldn't use him as like for a deep post scheme or streaks or any of that stuff, deep outs. Uh, David Bakhtiari, always a top left tackle. Only issue with him, he always has really great pass block, really bad run block. So in terms of going the, this route, if you want to get David Bakhtiari, I would not if you're run heavy. Again, it's the left side, so if you only run to the right, you'll still see advantages of it, but if you run to the left, you're going to see it. Darius Smith, 84 overall, up to the linebacker. 88 power moves. So, guys, he's going to be one of the best pass rushers off the edge to start the year. If you power up and come him up, he'll get a 90 power move. Not the fastest, but he is going to be a better power move guy than Khalil Mack. So, you can be a little bit budgety here. If you only rush your outside linebacker, that's all you do. Only issue with him is going to be the run stopping. is not nearly as good as uh, Khalil. So, if they're running it, you're going to feel him as a weakness. But if you don't get the coins from Mack, always a good option. You could probably use your power passing him, one of the many. Dalvin Cook is next. was really excited to see this guy. 84 speed. Now, that's kind of low. So, they made McCaffrey faster, which is important because McCaffrey never gets the speed. 85 XL, 86. Uh, I really don't know what that one is. 79 carrying, 87 change of direction, 79 break tackles. Catching's too low, in my opinion, although it doesn't matter, but I feel like he's better than that. Change of direction's big, though. Super agile. But I think McCaffrey's looking like the best running back so far at Madden. Eric Kendrick, same issue I always have with him. Really, really slow. Would rather get a guy like Bush or a guy like... Patrick Queen, play record. If you want to leave him as his own linebacker, you don't have to use her. Not a bad card, but I wouldn't personally recommend picking him up. Final card, Harrison Smith, always so slow. 81 speed, 85 excel, 79 tackle, 88 play rec, 86 pursuit, 76 man, 87 zone, 85 hit. Not going to lie, if you use him as a box safety, he's a strong safety, so that's the, that's the beauty of him. If you leave him out there and you come up, um, come him up and power him up, he will get the 90 threshold, which is good, and he'll be good in the zone. Personally, I would use him as a box safety if you'd like a big nickel scheme. But if you're not doing that, I really, really, I wouldn't leave him out there deep in like a cover two scheme. But guys, that's about it for the video. These are about all the players that we have confirmed here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Like 24 or 25 guys here. Pretty solid list, guys. Be ready for 6.30 for the stream, and I will have a video up when that is done. Thank you for watching. Smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come to the family. And get ready, because Madden season is officially upon us. I'm out. Peace.